Intense fear of gaining weight. Disturb images of how you would look if you gained weight. But sometimes an eating disorder is a lot more than that. I actually thought that, you know, people lost this weight because they wanted to look a certain way. You know, like some of those super thin celebrities. And maybe it starts off like that. Maybe they do want to fit into a zero gene or a double zero gene. That's how it starts off. But then it ultimately goes to a point where it can get out of control. Born Colleen Cooney, she held that name for only a few months. She would later be called Eugenia Cooney. She's 28 years old now in 2023. We are still in the month of May, Mental Health Awareness Month. If you have no idea who this young lady is, she is an internet celebrity a YouTuber. She talks about makeup and hair care and clothing hauls, and she's obsessed with Jack Skeleton. So if you thought she had a cooking channel, you are wrong. And I'm not making light of her condition at all. It's actually quite sad, and it's actually quite alarming. Over 10 years ago, when I first heard of her, somebody had referenced her to a skeleton and I looked her up and I was amazed. And she was a little bit bigger then. But this was a real live person. Unfortunately, I was not interested in her clothing hauls and makeup and the vlogging that she does. And she was live. And I remember I had said a comment that I know she saw, and I don't know why I thought my comment would make a difference because it didn't. I said, you seem like you can go far, but you can't if you're not here anymore. But I'm sure she hears stuff like that every day, the really good stuff, the same stuff, and the worst stuff, and yet she is still here. And I check in on her from time to time, like so many others, and... I'm kind of happy that she's still here, but it's no change in our life. And before she became this internet sensation for all the wrong reasons, she did do some modeling in her younger years. And yes, she has an eating disorder, and that is very clear. Some have actually petitioned her years, many, many times to try to get her removed from social media because they say that she's not a good influence on people, especially the younger, the younger ones who are dealing with eating disorders and anorexia nervosa. And she's not because she's been doing this for probably most of her life. I mean, she's 28 now. And I have known of her for about 10 years now. So she's been living with this for 10 years in my eyes. But again, longer. According to Quora.com, she's 5'9 and she's 86 pounds. I actually believe that she is a lot smaller. She has over 2 million followers and... I looked at some of the comments and a lot of people are saying weight goals. I would love to be your size and you're beautiful. And a lot of people are saying, oh, you gain weight. And people have actually called her fat, but we know those are the internet bullies and the ones with no lives that know that her life is not that good. And they just want to drive her more into this illness like she can, right? So it's Mental Health Awareness Month and this is not even the one that I am talking about. I'm going to talk about her mother, Debbie Cooney. She will appear in some of her videos, you know, um, Eugenia will do the goth makeup and stuff. And... A lot of people say that 
Debbie Cooney is living vicariously through her daughter because Debbie is a bigger sized woman and they're, you know, blaming her for this. They're saying that Eugenia doesn't really have a life. She doesn't have any, you know, female friends, you know, any boyfriends, and that this is some type of form of abuse that she's living in that home. And that the reason why she gets away with this is because she is the breadwinner of the family. Do I know if any of this is wrong or right? I have no idea. This is stuff I've heard throughout the years and I haven't really delved into this because I'm just looking at what I see. And yes, Eugenia is very, very frail. It's, it's terrible. I looked at her Instagram pictures posted just days ago. Actually, one was posted 39 minutes ago when I looked at it, and her bones are protruding out of her very tiny frame, and she's smiling, and it is just insane. It really is. As a mother, we don't know what Debbie has done behind closed doors in trying to help her daughter. I don't know. Does she go to bed every night wondering, is her baby in there even alive? I mean, I don't know. I never seen an interview with Debbie Cooney speaking about her child. So again, I really don't know. A lot of people think she has munchen by proxy. It's a mental illness where mothers will physically abuse their children so that people could pity them. Like, oh, pity them. A good example of that would be, I believe her name was Gypsy Blanchard, if you're not familiar with her. Her mother changed her age, made her a lot younger than her years, put her in a wheelchair, basically starved her so she could stay a very small size, you know, just did all these things to her, made it look like she had all these de um, different type of illnesses going on with her. She would doctor shop until she, you know, ultimately, you know, um, was getting caught, but then she would go find another doctor and it never really caught up and up with her until one day, you know, while Gypsy was getting a little bit older and uh, she met a guy who she wanted to see. And uh, they met up at the movies, I think a Disney movie, and went into the bathroom. I believe that's where Gypsy lost her virginity and then they plotted to, to kill the mother. And that's in fact what she did. And that was like one of the most horrible cases of munching by proxy. So a lot of people say that this is maybe what Debbie Cooney has because her daughter is 28 and I don't know if people are saying, oh, your daughter, I feel so bad for you. I don't know what people are saying. I just, I just was amazed because you don't think that somebody could lose even more weight and they do. And the fact that, you know, she has changed colors, you know, where her joints are, her knees and elbows are like a purplish red. It's, it's just sad. So I'm like, how do you sit in the house and you know that your daughter is not eating? I would put her in recovery indefinitely. I mean, if that's possible, I, I would. It, I was watching, like binge watching and reruns of um, intervention and sometimes they know that their drug addiction is so bad that they end up staying there. They end up wanting to become an interventionalist. I think I said that right. And they they do stuff where they can stay on the grounds because they are so scared to be out there in the real world because they may fall back into her addiction. I don't know what they can possibly do for this girl, but one day we're going to hear that she's passed away one day. I mean, it's, it's amazing that, that she's still here. Eugenia was being told by, you know, a few of her commenters to, you know, drink some water 
And I think she had the cameras follow her to the kitchen where she poured a glass of water. And she's like, guys, what do you want me to drink the water? I think that's so weird, guys. And for not even wanting to drink water on camera, that's alarming. Because right now I am drinking, I know you can't see me, but I'm drinking a lukewarm cup of tea because I think I'm coming down with a slight cold. I'm going to eat. If the food is there and you're watching, I'm going to eat. But I know that she's been dealing with this for a very long time. But one thing stood out to me. It said that eating disorders aren't really about the lack of not eating the food. I just read a few things about it. And... I think that it starts off with, yeah, you want to be slimmer. You want to fit into the zero clothes. And then we got the double zero clothes. I wouldn't be surprised if we had the triple zero clothes. But you want to fit into certain clothes and you may be competitive with somebody, you know, especially in the modeling thing. That's a whole thing. But these are average people, you know, um, Eugenia probably had this situation before she came, this internet celebrity. She probably had this. But, you know, we see all the time that there's just average people that are not thrown in the spotlight that are going through this, but they're looking at it. There are dark sides of the web that shows women and men, but that shows people with eating disorders called Thinspiration. I looked at some of them and they are tragic. They are awful. The graphic pictures and images that they show. And I'm pretty sure that Eugenia Cooney, she's like the princess down there. And that's probably what makes her feel good. If that, That's probably like a success to her. From everything I've read and seen and heard about, that's probably the ultimate that everybody's looking at her body and that they're saying body goals. They're saying body goals. So it's no wonder why people do want her off of social media because she is an influencer, her influencer and nobody is really wanting to know how to do your eyeliner in that, is that an eagle type, the dark shadow? I don't know what they even call it, but no one's really trying to figure out how to do that or trying to figure out, you know, how does she do her lipstick like that and, and the clothing hauls that she does. I mean, she's so tiny. Some of the clothes that are supposed to fit tight doesn't even fit tight on her no more because... She's so tiny. She's not even a size of the fashion mannequins. She is so little. So I don't know. I just thought I would bring her to my Mental Health Awareness Month. And hopefully you guys are good and healthy in your mental health. And here's a little bit more of Eugenia. I wasn't going to do it, but I just had to. I wanted to post two of the pictures that they were, I guess, weight was added on to her. They were photoshopped or filtered, whatever you want to call it. And these pictures made her upset because she's not that big. And the pictures of this photoshopped Eugenia... She doesn't look that big. She just looks healthy. And Eugenia, she was a very, very pretty girl. She was. It's just, it's so hard. She's still pretty, but her body has taken over everything from what we are seeing. She seems like a sweet girl. She seems like a pleasant girl. She seems like a talented girl, but the body, it, just takes over everything that we see. Um, 
I, I think I'm the same size that I've always been. So I mean, um, I don't know, like, um, I don't know, like, um, it just seem, kind of seems like a weird comment. Like, I'm not trying to be rude or anything like that. But it seems like to me kind of like a weird move to like be an Anon and just kind of go in someone's dream to be like, oh, hi, I think you're looking more fold out. Are you eating? Like, I don't know. Um, I'm not trying to be rude or anything like that. I'm just kind of like, I don't know. They're just trying to upset you. Yeah, it kind of seems like it, you guys. Like, it's just kind of, I think, like, kind of a weird comment to, like, go in someone's stream and, like, you know, be, like, an anonymous and be like, oh, hi, like, I think that you're looking like a bigger size.